essence is a theme of reconciling with God and men could not be more appropriate for our country. I want to give a testimony that the President and ascending to the High Office has led this country in forgiveness and reconciliation. Most of us who work around him had great difficulties with that approach. But along the way, he has persuaded us, and we are now aligned that reconciliation is the way to go for the betterment of this country. The President has exercised magnanimity in victory. Again, is the expectations of many people who witnessed the persecution that he was subjected to, the harassment, the intimidation, had expected him to go hammer and toss for his tormentors and persecutors. He shocked all of us when he insisted that he is a Christian. And the Bible has taught him that forgiveness is a calling from God. And he decided to leave this country by giving leadership in forgiveness and matters of constitution. His first appointment on, a set, on being sworn in as president, he shocked all of us. His first appointment was to a man who had made it difficult for him to rise to the presidency. But he was forgiven, he was magnanimous, and that was it. Many people would have expected by now that all those who stood in his path to leadership would be dealt with the way his people are being dealt with. Being arrested, caught, being harassed by KRA. But the president decided, in accordance with the teachings of the Bible, that we need to reconcile this nation. And that is why we have a peaceful country. And Your Excellency, we want to thank you for carrying us along. One example, it is, it is, may look small, but it was very inspiring to those of us who work with the president. The last prayer breakfast here was a very toxic affair, full of tension and hatred. The president today who was deputy president would not sit on the same table with his host. And when we were trying to align people around the president, many people around us we were persuaded that the lady who had removed the chair from where Dr. William Ruto was supposed to sit should be shown the door. And when the president came to learn of it, he said, no, we must reconcile with the reality that is behind us. That lady who was in protocol should remain there and be promoted. And as we speak today, she walks around the president. Again, when the president and his family and their belongings were thrown out of the official residence of the, of the deputy president in Mombasa, most of us were persuaded that those who had participated in throwing out his belongings should be shown the door. Again, he insisted that should not be the case. 